Hey guys, welcome along to Blood West. Uh, gotta thank the developers for giving me the key. They emailed me last week. Mm, let me turn down the volume. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> Heavy is the burden. Do that a little bit. I'll put that as rare. Yeah. Blood West. Horror. Yes. RPG. Jump into it. Oh, is it not playing the... Hold on. Is it not playing the cutscene? Why not playing the cutscene? That's a shame. All right, welcome to Blood West. Um, yep, shift to run, space to jump. Talks nearby told him to get instructions. All right, mouse sensitivity, first thing. Can we change our mouse sensitivity? Relux sensitivity? I don't know. Field of view will raise that up a little bit. Zoom. A little bit better, I think. I'm aware, like, there's a heavy um, focus on stealth and stuff in this game, which is kind of cool. She'll see. Oh, it worked. It worked. And he is even in one piece. All right. What are you? Oh, me? You mean us? Nothing but an amalgamation of souls. More important question is, who are you? Really, no. The answer is... You're undead. We brought you here by means of our immense powers from whenever place you've been before. We know of your exploits and achievements. Your fame reaches wide across the country. The nasty rumors about you reach even further. You're our ace in a sleeve. Okay, so we're undead. Before you ask, no, we cannot send you back. Not yet. See, that's the nature of every summoning. It must have a reason. And a reason you have. As an undead outside of others' influence, you will be our torch in the dark. Your spark will become the flame to purify the rot of this world and free us from the unending cycle of despair. Okay. Search for the evil lurking in this world. Smell the sulfur in the air. Taste the corruption. Understand the shattered reality. Sense the vitriol staining the remains. Only then will you be free again and able to leave. That's fair, but I'm dead. <laughs> anyway. So, okay, they use the toggle and then that's grand. You don't have a weapon to get past the enemy. Oh. Oh, a little bar on the bottom. No detection meter at the bottom of the screen, at the top of the screen. You can find the compass. Okay. So, audio. Oh, that's him seeing us. Okay.
no, there's something over there. Okay, so landing doesn't make any extra noise. in here. Gold nugget. Alrighty. Weapon is laying out there. You'll find it easy. Sure. Yep, probably. I have to get attacked, don't I? Open your inventory and equip the weapon primary slot. You can equip two weapons. Big weapons fit in the primary slot. Small small weapons can be put in any slot. Ah. Cool, so we have like a proper inventory. A few skills. Cool. We'll go through them later. I woke up with this journal, so I may as well use it. I will try to note anything worth. Yep, and quest items. Toggle single use and artifacts can or sorry tools. Let me put in special slots, of course. Probably do that. Is there a way to show them on my AI because um I've already forgotten which ones I put where. So sneak attacks do extra damage. Cool. Do that in a minute. Nice. Five dollars. Headshot. Stay over there for a minute. Quarter of health. Nice. Okay, and we're bleeding. Uh, what was that one on five? Ah, it's up there. Get that going. Oh, good health potion. Okay. Cool. And we heal over time. It's never enough. Excellent. So that counts as a secondary weapon that we can use. Perfect. Put that there. Cool. Oh, so we have four shots with the shotgun. on paper maybe it's important uh, there we go so click on it and then we can get options <clears throat> seemingly mindless creatures born from malicious dark magic do not seem to be a species worth observing they can spend hours staring at a wall and apparently derive some sort of pleasure from it or shamble senselessly around until they spot a living being evidently the sight awakes murderous instincts in them those pitiful creatures do not pose a serious threat you can experience hunter only a fool would disregard an entire group of them yeah well they took a quarter of our health in one hit. Yeah, they'll tear you apart with claws at times. They may perform a charge, splitting a remarkable speed. 
may prove fatal to a fledgling hunter. Cool. And tab is a secondary button for our inventory. Let's... Oh! I, I was about to say, let's not fall down there. Here I come. Again. He died. If you die, it is the last totem. Okay, cool. Be more careful. Even death puts you at risk. Curses and plentiful in the blood. Yeah. Um, I went to turn away, but my mouse sensitivity was a little bit high. So I turned around 360 and walked straight off the edge. That seems better. Ha! You're being chased runs to no. Probably should have because now I'm bleeding. You do it. But they can't go into tunnels. Good to know. Do they respawn? Oh, they do. Well, time to test out the shotgun. Oh, and now I'm wondering, is this like standard shotgun range in games or is it actual at decent range? Shot is ineffective. Oh, you can see the pattern on the ground, nice. God damn it. Give me charge. Hey. This is fine. Rusty revolver. How much ammo does that actually have? Weapon firearms can use different types of ammunition. Switch between ammo types by using V and press R to reload. You can unload the weapon into your in your inventory. Okay. <clears throat> Made of cursed gold. Damage inflicted increased by a hundred percent. That's pretty cool. Five and fifteen and twenty. Okay. You won't find any answers lingering here. Better move towards the dark places and glimmering gold. Again, what should I do? Search for the evil lurking riddles. Hate riddles. But I find someone who can explain me a thing or two. There we go. Is that us? That is us. Cool. Check if there's anything in here. Look like it. Leaning and stones. Leaning and throwing stones may be helpful as well. Use X to select a stone and throw it to distract enemies. You can need to lean to pick around corners. Okay. 
I presume. And we're not gonna walk. Oh, look at this. Can I reach that guy? Did make him turn around though. Interesting. Your stamina at the bottom. Wouldn't want to fall off the edge. Okay, you doing? Football as well. Doing fine. Good, good, good. Now, oh, what is that? Feeling I'm about to die again. Oh. Safe zones. You can trade here, for example, buying a map may prove useful. Yes. Some enemies may respawn upon your death and after you take a rest. Speak to the shaman and the totem of souls. I shall speak to you in a minute. I. Okay. The road. What is it? A dead man I buried walks again. You buried me? Hmm. I sense the restless spirits nearby, but still I hoped your body would be protected by my charms. They were insufficient, as it seems. What happened to me? I found a body, your body, among the remains of monsters, and decided to bury you in a manner akin to my tribe. I did all the proper rituals, but it was not enough, and strong spirits have brought you back. I do not know if this is for a good or bad purpose. Who are you? I... I am nobody. Used to talk to spirits, guide the tribe. Now, now tribe shattered, I remain in shame. Wandering the lands, trying to fix what can be fixed, and lay to rest what is too broken. I have no more questions. Good, good. Walk on, tainted one, and let your journey bring closure. Dead man walking. Speak. Can we trade? Here we go. Map of the canyons, 40. Oh, I've got 55. Cool. I should read these. Traders will pay for them. Get money for that. So while equipped, it'll protect you from obtaining a new soul flaw upon death. It can be exchanged for blessings at a totem of souls. Okay, so there's more than one use. Traders will pay for that. Awesome. Standard short ammo, and it highlights the gun that it can be used for. That's nice. This is a uh, silver short ammo. Damage inflicted to spirits increased by 200%. Spirit bow. Every arrow costs 3 HP. Okay. Hunting bow. Primary attack. 21 damage with 21 meters range. I kind of want a bow. I can't afford the bow and the arrows. Unless I sell the shotgun. It's 
Oh, we'll go off and do something and come back and get a bow. Because I'm definitely going to be stealthing. Give enough experience to level up. Open the character sheet with H and look at their skills. Oh, we have three skill points. Nice. So we have this effect on us right now. Cool. Cost is two. Increase melee attack. Speed by 10%, also good. Reload time. I increase our maximum health. I think that's going to be good. <laughs> I think that's definitely going to be good. Brilliant chance. Retrieve arrows, yeah, that would be nice. Uh, I would like health. Increased chance of bleeding by 25%. Increased experience gain could do that. I'm curious what the uh, max level is now. Uh, we'll get this. Less stamina required for our attacks is probably going to be useful. Good. Since you are here, let us explain what is needed of you. This place has been corrupted by a curse, and you need to find its source. We don't know what has brought it to this land, so keep your eyes open. Bring us anything you may deem weird or disturbing. I bring you the other totems. And if you happen to get lost, come to us. We may be able to help or ease your burden. For now, we know where you can begin your search. Follow the most strong scent of darkness around, under the burned church. Within ruined city, you will find part of your answers. Anything else? Can you help me? Ah, we could, could we? Yes, definitely. We could bless you. Not for free, mind you. What do you require? We seek the cursed gold, the shining metal of doom and corruption. Bring it to us so we may hide it from the mortal hands. You got the gold? Bury it beneath this totem and we shall bless you. What can you do exactly? We can do many things, but you can only select one. What will it be? I'm going to go silent, I think. Or give me the magpie's ability to spot shiny things. Critical hits live. How are you doing, bud? Oh, come on in. Uh, let's go... Just silent. Every blessing lasts until you die. Not that long, okay. Search the church. Homesick today. I will hope you feel better, man. Let's see what my thoughts. Um, so, uh, we're still at the like very beginning. I like the aesthetic. Oh, I didn't see you earlier. Multiple over there. I don't want to go that way. Yeah, we're still going through the beginning. So let's. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Exactly, that's a screamer thing to say, right? <laughs> I 
dynamite. Oh, hell yeah, we're doing that. Five seconds to hide before everything goes up in flames. Oh god. That's not far enough. Well, we're dead. <laughs> you got one at least. Yeah. Yeah, man. Headshot. Totally meant to do that. Put in the good ammo. The aesthetic reminds me of Bolt Gun, which I like. Also, let's uh, take a potion. It looks like it's going to be like, you know, a, a tough game. It's not going to like um, hold your hand or anything. And as I've said a few times, I play Tarkov. I like being absolutely destroyed by the game. You had no loot. Why didn't you have any loot? Also, yeah, okay. Clicks are queued up. Keep that in mind. More ammo. Notes on the spirit. Oh, notes on spirits. I don't want to see spirits. Leave me alone. What did the note on the spirits say? Specific properties of dark magic permeating the barren lands remain unknown, and spirits are yet another proof how little we understand the phenomenon. For a long time, it was assumed that only the only matter only matter can be subjected to deformations and assume new odd forms. Thank you for the follow, critical hits. If next known, remember the game from Alpha. Okay, nice one. So you'll know what's going on. <laughs> Discovery of spirits rendered that few obsolete, and we saw proof that even an essence of a living being, especially that of a human, can be altered and made visible to the naked eye. Makes them less vulnerable to traditional firearms, but silver ammunition proves not so effective. Oh god. That's safe. Need a key. Okay. No loot on him either. Mm. Okay, buddy. Almost threw them out as well, fuming a few times. Excellent. Turn the other way. Ooh. Well, you can get in close, I like that. Nice bandage, too. Yeah, we're, we're going the stealthy way. I think I called it Dead West earlier, and I, yeah, I should have meant uh, Blood West. There's somebody up there. You see that we're getting um, getting an audio cue there. Yeah. Also, we have a map. So I'm going down a dead end right now. It's the shaman there. And our quest is to go up into the town there. There's a 
bed here. And also, there's definitely something above us. Maybe not above us. Sir. Okay, I think we got lucky with that one. <laughs> I didn't realize that the enemies appeared on the cursor either. Or not the cursor, the compass. dead things. Sweet. And a bow. Ah, this may be useful. That's me? Okay, that scared the crap out of me. Maybe useful. Voice reminds me of Darkest Dungeon. Oh, good. Not going to make that mistake again. Oh, there, there's the thing. Yeah, because the uh, axe is a large weapon, right? I won't go into that slot. Don't know if I want to have two... Two ranged weapons. I have no... Health pot cider, so I think I'm gonna have to go back to the, the dude. Just make sure that we have this cleared out so we don't have to come in and deal with these guys again. Oh, yeah, okay, this is above where we were. Oh, what are you? What are you? Basically, like an armored version with a coffin. We could drop down there and go that way. Good. And we can go buy extra arrows. The man had a different looking knife as well. Click the sell. That was nice. We have one of them, so we'll sell that. And then. Right, 161.
plenty of arrows. Uh, yeah, we'll buy all of that. Buy some shotgun ammo. We might as well buy the silver ammo. We'll keep our map. D ah oh, damn you. Um Secondary attack does twenty. So your secondary attack does twenty, so do that. Oh we can't rotate? Okay, and health potions cost a hundred. Okay. On rest, you can teleport to any other known safe zone with a bed. Using this item will not respawn enemies. Cool. That's the one I. Oh, 700. Never mind. You actually have to reload the bow. <laughs> but we better meet a spirit. That. It doesn't just leave the arrow in the body, it breaks it. Just, uh, that, that's, that's actually good. Pickaxe. Are there spiders in this game? I'm not a fan of spiders in general, and I think in this game they're going to be horrifying. Gotta be spider somewhere in a game like this? Yeah. Probably. Everyone loves using spiders. You could say there is? Oh. Oh, that sounds... Perfect. Alas, it's never enough. Itchy nose. Yes. I know we're not supposed to be after the gold. But it's gold. looking for those. Now that's a knife. Sword of spiders. Cool. Molotov cocktail. The 
if I can throw it further than that uh, dynamite. Ha! Oh, there was something on that. Speak of the devil. He's probably around here somewhere. Pull me once, gravity. Well, our range was what, 21, wasn't it? Okay, so he knows where we are once we do that. Uh -oh. Cozy. Little guys for big jobs. I do like that the arrow was propping him up. Snap that one. Okay, okay. Shot these guys. Uh, okay, you can hit R to cancel. Good. I saw that you can get like crossbows and stuff as well. That's kind of cool. I don't want to see uh, how many weapon types and stuff are in the game. Obviously, you have all your different ammo types as well. Speaking of different ammo types, we'll probably play a bit of Quasi Morph later. to it. Oh, hey, did I? Oh, that did not go as planned. Out of my sight! <laughs> okay, maybe it did. Maybe it did. for us. Simple use of ladders too.
Okay, I couldn't see where that was going. Can I shoot the glowy thing? Yes, you can. Seems like it went okay, yeah. Different zones of different uh, weapons, okay. Yeah, well, like, well, this, this is the initial zone, so it's not going to have much anyway. Short ammo. Silver fork. Nice. Yellow River. What is Yellow River? Increases maximum stamina recovery and stamina regeneration. Okay, maximum stamina and regeneration. Four nuggets. That's pretty nice. Let's get dynamite. It's never enough. Not with my aim. Oh, is that a spirit there? All well, usual weapons have epic variants there too, some you can buy, some you need to find. Cool. Well, let's go die to a spirit. Or two, three, okay, yeah, three. Okay, yeah, they're actual enemies. I was just wondering, are they just floating around there, or...? <laughs> Flaming skulls! Okay, we can dodge them. I'm being very ambitious here. Headshot on the floating head. He 
dodging me. We should be fine from him, right? Did I shoot my gun at someone else? Um, let's switch over to standard ammo. still in the canyon. We haven't even been out of the canyon yet. Uh. What a handsome man has come to town. Thank you. I will make you bleed. Ah! Prodigal daughter. Oh. Shout at them. Jesus. Rest easy, my friend. No. God. Here we go. Headshot was only partially effective due to range. This wasn't able to get ahead in life. You have wings. Why do you... Oh, no. I always love when there's a good arrow uh, physics with like bodies and stuff. Breaking. Can we stack these? No. Yeah, because they don't stack in the inventory either. the thing I was looking at. Also... I don't like the look of you. daughter down there. Yeah, you did have wings. And a mouth. That's nasty. I will make this moment last forever. I can't shoot for she right in the tits. They have a whole reload animation, and ouch. It's worth 15, but for that many squares, it's not worth picking up, I think. Let's go with a different... Uh, that up here. Wait, how many is that going to take up? That there.
Hey, do you know those sticks of dynamite I had? They might be handy. Oh, what's that one? Oh, you're all supposed to be dead. You're all supposed to be dead. Human peed. Increases resistance to acid by 15% and reduces your maximum HP by 15%. Well, luckily, we got a 15% buff. Level. Uh. Nice. And. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I like the little artifacts. Kind of stalkerish, right? That did that and be an interesting mechanic that if you took the time to go around and like behead them all, they wouldn't come back, you know. attack on that. I like it. Or like if you burn their bodies or something, you know? Looking to get a hand. Living vine. Well now, living vines, let's have a look at you in a second. Thinking is more efficient by 25%. Nice. Also, better attack. Oh, and a level up. Three more points, so three points per level. Cool. The alertness of enemies is reduced by 25% by our bonus. Now our sneaking is better by 25% because of our axe. And I could do this. Do these two. Faster attack. And uh, better sneak. Increase inventory size by two rows also. Ooh. Extra chance to miss. Resistance. When aiming down the iron size, time slows by 35% for two seconds. Effective range of headshots is increased by 25%. That could be good. Increase the healing of bandages by 50%. That's actually pretty sweet. Melee weapon in hand, stamina regenerates 30% faster. They're all pretty good. Oh, do you know what though? I do want to do this because I'm going to use the bow and then I'm going to do our sneak or do it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to. Do prices and melee attack or do the invisible man. Enemies have 10% chance to miss their melee attack. Could be good. Each kill restores 25% of stamina. The stacker bonuses.
it's probably worth going back to the shaman right there's a fort up there but we want to go up the hill here there's a bed there in the mine We've been going an hour and we've covered this much ground in the opening area. Part because of, you know, me being bad. That's right, the dude with the coffin. What's this? It's still remote, dude. How do you pronounce his name? Uh, Fiak. So, Fiak. Damn it together, soften it up. It is the Irish word for raven. Give me, give me, give me the ammo. Oh, it's a human peed. Yay. I like those guys. They're my favorite. Ah, uh, but let's not stand in the the dead end. Probably outside of range too, so Oh, what are we coming up on? the lantern. So I presume hmm. the gun is gonna aggro everyone, right? Not enough space in inventory. I think there is. Yeah, sorry, what I was saying is I think if I shoot the gun, it aggroes everyone. I shoot this guy. Just aggroes him. Oh no, maybe it aggroed everyone. He's checking out the body, not not me. He's, I presume he's kind of protected from headshots. Like Tarkov style inventory? Well, I think Stalker did it first, didn't they? Well... I don't think I did any damage to him because of that. Oi! I was hitting the wood, so there was no damage. You could see the blood. Oh. Give me a second. I'm in my inventory. That's tracking me. That's not fair. He's after lunch. Yeah. Never played any stock games? I haven't either, actually. But I am going to be playing, um... The Gamma mod. Does Gamma take out all of the story? Curious what that guy does. Oh, there's two of them over there. Let's finish reloading. What did he have on him? Cause there's another one up there. Oh, 
Oh, he's a pistol. Okay. <sighs> they are tracking those shots nicely. Keeper, okay. A cold kind saved us there, so hello. Yes. Hmm. I guess all that. Rusty revolver and rusty revolver. So that. Keep the bow. I like using the bow. Um, we can just buy all the ammo. Wonder for a backpack. Cool. Arrows are not subject to gravity. Is kind of huge. I think if if you missed and it cost your HP, that'd be cool. Uh, I need to get a coin because otherwise we're gonna have issues. Laser bow, yeah. Speaking of, I don't have a coin to get a blessing, so that's that. I will rid this land of you. I can't shoot with rocks. Oh, he stayed dead. Cool, okay. So it does only bring back some of the enemies that you uh, previously killed, not all. They did say that. Put to death! A little bit more drop than I'm giving it credit for. General thoughts? I like the gameplay so far. Obviously, we haven't seen too many enemies. Um, not a fan of like what seems to be kind of. Could always do with some more bullets. They're not bullets, buddy. They're arrows. Um, the tracking, long range shots. I'm gonna have to figure out the dodge mechanic. I presume it's like iframes and stuff. Oh, did he fall off the edge? Oh no. I love how he's stealthily screaming. Yeah. Oh, the centipede died. Uh, the centipede dude stayed dead. Can't say no to such a curiosity. Ah, the prodigal daughter information. So, 1140 HP, or XP. Well, how far is he going to run to get around to us? All the way. He's going all the way. Oh, 
Oh no, I missed. This hurts. They bring it there. Stay, stay hydrated, dude. You're feeling ill, definitely. You gotta stay hydrated. <gasps> I don't know if I had to jump there, but I did. Can't stay hydrated. Oh, all right. Yeah, you're running a fever, can you? Drinking like 2.5 liters of water a day and it's not, never enough. Aren't you supposed to drink 2.5 liters of water a day? Regardless. cannot penetrate the unnatural darkness laying in pools around here. Spirits won't reveal anything new to us. Maybe try our pre- Wow. 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 Who are you? Jim Hooper. We have a stash. New face around these parts? Come in. It's safe here. Unlike most of this area. You're one of those bravados looking to make a quick buck? Just don't come back to me crying about all them monsters. All I care about is that I get my share and stay out of trouble. Ooh. And we still buy this weapon give extra experience. If drunk. <laughs> oh, resistance to melee and range attacks is increased by 25%. These are some decent bonuses. Increased maximum stamina. It's the health potion. Um, oh, we can read the note here as well. Best to kill particle daughters as swiftly as possible, as any prolonged combat may prove fatal. Shooting her in the face will break the mask and make her more aggressive. Which not, might, might not be ideal. Anything that reveals her ugliness. A living being or an ordinary mirror becomes a target of her furious attack. Not rest until her target is destroyed or she herself is vanquished. Good to know. Um, I'm gonna sell that. Sell that as well. Okay. Well, the ammo, how much is a coin? 30. Yeah, that's worth it. With the amount we're gonna die, that's worth it. Um, just on off shotgun, it's the drunken master, and that's just the lever action rifles. 400. For the next 10 hits. I think we're good there. See if we'll buy that because Oh I can rest here. Cool. Wait, I can just take the chicken head. Notes of the Birdman, let's read that. There's chicken head's eyes are looking at you expectantly. Do you wish to go to a different place? Oh no. Sweet. And then the chicken head can transport us wherever. 
and using that will not respawn enemies. Capable of wielding firearms with deadly accuracy, it can also dodge with remarkable swiftness, employing short distance flight. Silver bolts, although costly, seem to be the most effective way to slay the creature, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, it puts it in the same area as uh, spirits. Um, question, is there a dodge button? <laughs> oh. I guess you just have to hold down shift and move around, right? Well, we're heading up here. The sisters up there. Uh oh, there's another one right there. Cool. Be gone. See the drop? See that drop at the end? Ooh, go away. Let's play again. I like that you can interrupt their reload by hitting them. That's nice. Also, I should have thrown a Molotov over there after I shot the arrow. There's let's not play the piano. We'll hold off on doing that. I know it's it's an impulse. I'm not sure if you can shoot them in the back of the head, we'll find out. Just before we die. No space for the shotgun, that's fair enough. Distinguished undead. He's very distinguished. Oh, he's 
like up here. Hold on a minute. Let him walk back. Oh no. Oh, that takes a lot to kill. Click on an item and you'll get the options down here. Like to unload the ammo and such. Yeah, that, that took a, a lot to kill that dude. Um do 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 close one, yeah. I think if the um the melee guy had got another strike off on us dead. Because I'd have panicked. Game that we hit the window frame. Oh, look at there's two of them holding that area there. I think that's too far away from our bow. <laughs> Not nothing. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go back and sell a bunch of stuff and stash. And then we'll come back in there. Deal with that mess. Like right here. Hey, have a minute. You could help a fella and earn something on the side. Could tell me this before I went to town. Thanks, pal. So here's the deal. I know of a few places worth looting. And I'm sure something is there that can make a good buck. You bring it to me, and I'll share the spoils with you. You find anything else, you keep it. Deal. Yep. I know there is an artifact in that ruined watchtower that overlooks the town. The damn place is haunted by spirits, and I don't have the courage to fight them or sneak past. Bring that artifact to me, and I will pay you. I need to find stuff for Jim. Hey, whoa, 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 Jim, where are you going? What are you Keep your eyes out. That's some very useful stuff. Oh. Nah, we're good. Hear that. D. Uh, we've read that. Don't need that. Oh, that only stacks to 15? Okay. They're limiting your inventory space. I don't have enough money for that yet, okay. 
Um, sell that. Sell that. Buy that. Yeah, I do have a molly. Put that in there. I think we'll store... Ah, oh, screw it. We'll just get rid of the shotgun, right? Let's get rid of that shotgun. It's taking up space. Store the shotgun ammo. Yeah, because we have another one here. Sort all of that. Kind of understand the dodge a bit. Could always do with some more bullets. Yeah. Even though I'm using arrows. I think we hit him a few times. I guess we could hit the lantern and a bunch of damage. It's a rusty axe. It's not worth it. Mmm, spicy. Okay. Ooh, potion. Excellent. little thing. Ha! I would like to get a rifle, though. <laughs> it's never enough. I do. I really like that about the arrows, that they stay in the enemies for ages. You know, they don't just disappear after a little while. I saw something on this uh, roof that I wanted to come over for. Clearly I didn't. I obviously uh, missed two arrows here earlier. We'll need those.
You better stay dead, pal! Look who's talking. Aren't we undead? They're, they're the most annoying ones so far. If you don't have any more. Wow. Second porcupine over there. Okay, they're all they're all standard enough. Um one with that, one with that, that. One more space. Uh, crap. Oh, well, hold on a second. Nope, don't want that ammo. Want this ammo. Involved in the hedgehog, exactly. Yeah, that'll do it. There we go. Is that the darkest dungeon guy? That's it. Excuse me. Sounds like the darkest dungeon guy. Let's get out of that area real quick. Oh wait, yeah, these are past the spirits. We banned the hammer. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. Destroy. Nope. I want to use all of my silver ammo on these guys, my girls. Wayne June. John Wayne, you mean? Switch back to that ammo. He's a boy. Oh, sorry, right. <laughs> Probably not. Um, oh, that's a four. Yeah, whetstone is worth a lot more than that. I'm 
Presuming that only one of them will get you over shotgun ammo. Towers over there. We're going to go do this thing. Phew. We're starting to run low. Oh, there's the issue. flew in through the window as I was about to get him. Keep the ammo, we'll sell the guns. She's a shotgun. 400, I could buy that. Twenty two attack with twenty five meters. Oh, it's an extra five attack. For eighty five? Oh yeah, we'll do that. That's already better. So that. Hmm. That there. Keep that. Try this out. And, um, for the extra ammo, because why not? Flammable shotgun shells ignite the target. Yes. I don't have enough for that. Okay. Do that. Uh, put a stack of bandages over there. Two stacks of bandages in there, because we're... We're going to die before we use them. Oh, excuse me. Right, I guess we use the silver ammo then against these dudes to start, right? Where are you, feckers? So we're doing five extra damage per shot, and... That's... <sighs> I forgot about the enemies respawning.
Wait, is it a thing that if we take their heads off, they don't respawn? I don't know where the iron sights are aiming on this. Oh, that's... That's an unfortunate position. I don't want to aggro that guy. Twenty damage, no problem. What again? No rest for the wicked. <laughs> He, he loaded one bullet and shot me. I thought he was going to do a full reload. Something's in the air. Well played, sir. Well played. Honestly, sell that. Sell that. It's like, oh, he's reloading. I'll aim for his head. Bang. Did the other guy stay dead? That's that's my main question. The other guy stayed dead. I don't really mind. Then I can just shoot this guy in the head. I think he did, you know. Okay, in theory, I could shoot him in the head. Let's let's put it that way, right? Birds, I'm not overly concerned about. Not stay dead. Okay. Unless that's a third.
Okay, we got him. Sorry, get you again. Didn't actually bring the shotgun, did I? We don't have a coin either, so if we die, we get a, a debuff. You remember something in one of the graves behind the church? But no, remember. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, of course we're gonna check the graves. You seen our stone shard runs? Shovel is our favorite weapon. Switch over to that ammo. Just uh, actually, no, we'll switch. Yeah, no, we'll switch to the normal ammo once we uh, run out. God, we haven't even made it through the like tutorial map yet. There was three of them. We don't actually have to deal with these guys. Well, it's the first map when you come out of the, the basic tutorial. So let's put it that way, sorry. That's why, I, that's why I'm calling it the tutorial map. Okay, we're nearly two hours in and we're still on the first map area. Go with the boat. Just to be sure, you know. How are you doing, Zuru Zray? Zuru Azray? Is that right? Let's see, roughly there. Never mind. The game a couple of days ago being played by another tree when I was interested in see more. Oh yeah, good. Exactly uh technically what we're here for, right? Uh let's unload the ammo out of all of these. But well, I'm liking what I've seen so far. One minute. Oh god, where are you going? Didn't like the way of looking at me. Well yeah, it's always good to check out uh, games before like buying if you're not sure. And again, thank you to the uh, developers for giving me access to it. 
Even though it took me about a week to respond to their email because uh busy at work. But again, like we're two hours, we're two hours in and we haven't gone to half this map. We haven't gone to the fort, we haven't gone to the mine, we haven't got to the farm or the burial site. This is the first map. Now, that is because I've died once or twice. Oh good. Ammo. Here with the ammo. Ocean. I saw that little uh meter come up. Oh, even Nightbot is awake. Now, one thing I did find at the start is mouse sensitivity. I had to bring it down to like a third of what it was at. I'm still blaming that for our first death. Okay, we've looped back around. Yeah, we came through there, went down that way, went over that way. Okay, a good headshot on them is enough. Glad to see it. Too bad his body fell. Too slow to change weapons, I should have ran. Total flaw. You receive one upon every death, unless you have a coin. When you gather three, they will turn into a horrible curse. You can resist the effects of soul flaws using potions and artifacts. Hey, look where we are. Hey. You have the eyes of the killer. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> so let's go check out that tower. Let's go check out that tower. We only have 70 gold after that. Yeah, we'll, we'll just bring the pistol. We'll bring the pistol, we'll bring the current stuff, and we'll just go check out the tower. See if we can finish this mission. So, maximum stamina is lowered by 5%, that's okay. It's become more severe when the curse is finished. We're getting there to level three. Oh, Birdman, yay. Oh, more than one Birdman, yay. And a sister of whatever the hell, sister of slaughter. That'll do. Right, I think we go with the pistol then. We know I'm so good with the pistol. We're not going to go with the um, silver ammo, and you have two shots. We'll go with the gold ammo. Does extra damage as well. And at least we'll be able to fully load. Looks like 
looks like that other guy's walking around the whole place. I put on my best the range. Yeah, I don't have the range to hit him from here properly. Get in closer, buddy. A glove, what does a glove do? That's the reload, yes. Bit of ammo in here. I thought he was sticking up his middle finger at us for a second. dollar dues. Nothing in there. The tower is over there. We're not even at the tower yet. This is just a, a random spot on the map. Yeah, this is just a random little spot on the map. There's multiple at the front. Oh, okay. This can be a lot of fun. I'm shooting you in the legs because if I shoot you in the casket. You don't want to hit the casket, it's not going to do any damage. Um, I'm using that right now. What? Increase the reload time by 25%. I kind of want to get that, to be honest. But I also kind of want to get that. And it's just healing. We have three points. I could get some more HP.
Okay, we'll get strong back. And we'll get fast hands. Do that. Because we want the extra inventory space. Right, well that aggroed both of them. Looks like they've gone out of range. Yeah, now they're going back up. Maybe. This land of you. Wanna draw him down. Yeah, come here. Can they shoot each other. I am running low on ammo. Better take the ammo out of these guns so that we can actually use it. Also, we'll get some of Get into my about. gun already. Buddy, you don't put arrows in a gun. Even I know that. Whatever gets the job done. Oh, right, yeah, there's more of them. Cool. Yeah, that coffin makes such a difference to those guys. Bullets won't pen it. You have to break it with um, good hit or shoot them in the legs and so on. Little guys for big jobs. Kind of wish you could use it against the church. Sell it later, I guess. Oh, every killed enemy gives you three dollars. Yeah, effect lasts for 120 seconds. Lessen weapon sway when aiming by 70%, increase effective range of weapons by five meters. Time slows down when you aim. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Excuse me, there's walking.
Cool. Of course, they give you something useful that you're gonna have to give the gym. Nice revolver is not exactly a sniper weapon. Oh, yeah, exactly. I have no problem with the whole the range diminishing stuff. It's just that I'm using it wrong. Oh, what are you? Coming all the way up. He's hungry, that's what he is. Yeah, I was thinking that myself. I love the ambient music. Centipede man here. It's never enough. Let me add a couple of sticks of dynamite. You got an ad with the loud music and startled me? Oh no. We can heal using the bandages as well, which is always nice, and I should remember that. Not as much, obviously, but still. This axe makes our sneak better. down here. Yeah, it really went the wrong way. This will be fine. This won't be fine. Wow, they take a lot of damage to kill. Right on the mark. They take a lot of damage to kill. Right on the mark? My god, man. I took way too much to kill him. So this leads down to the other guy there. If we can get a critical, I think we can kill him in one strike. Nope, can't do that. An axe to his head did the job. I guess there's only one thing left to do right now. I can't kill that. Be the axe is the best sniper weapon available? Yes. I have to try and sneak up on this thing from down here. We're about to get ripped apart. 
on for feck's sake. I think we're good. hurts. Here I come again. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. This is Blood West. Our survival RPG. Good job. Give it to me, and I'll pay you 200 bucks. No deal. If it's giving me, um, there's a lot of tough beasties in this. It's giving me three bucks a kill. Dugga, 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 dugga. Then, um, I'm gonna keep that because it. In a little while, it's gonna pay for itself. Really? I thought we were partners. Fine. I may be going insane. I could swear I heard a whisper coming from the old church. Got an AE job or lead? Nothing, pal. You have the eyes of a killer. Are prices worse now? No, that's good. Down there for now. Time stops when in the inventory screen. That's kind of good. So, did he get a couple of new items because we leveled? I wonder. Also, let's take some dynamite with us. All the DACA. Oh yeah, how much was one of these? 30, yeah, we'll take that. Yes, that was a, that was a tough beastie indeed. I got him, but because we died, um, enemies respawn after you die. Yeah. So there's that. Oh, sorry. Some enemies respawn after you die, but we did get him. We got him, and then we bleed, bled out instantly. Let's go for the other approach. I've got a big axe and I'm going to run towards you. Also use heavy attacks. Oh. You didn't die. You were supposed to die. I better find some bandages. Yes. Yes, you should. What do you lose when you die? Do you lose XP? Um, no, you don't lose XP, I believe. When you die, you get um, cursed. So you can get a soul flaw, which we have down here. Um, if we go here, we have this. So we have one of three of exhaustion. So our stamina is lowered. And then if we get three of them, it becomes a curse. 
And then every time you die, obviously, um, some of the enemies respawn, as we were saying. Primary attack damage is 70. the church find items filled with curses oh yeah okay we'll cancel the headshot yep that's the thing yeah those skulls are now um basically hp pools with that shotgun as long as we have ammo for it of course Which we don't. Okay, I know you're fair now. There's two of them, okay. Morph, I think. We'll take this with me. Bandage up there, okay. <sighs> of 
squirt 70, ectoplasm. Yes, 20% chance for ranged attacks to miss, yes. I can't remember what killed us down here. Lots of things, right? Oh, it was the guys on the bridge. That's right. They switched weapon and didn't run away. They do the ladder as well. Got Birdman. Got multiple Birdman. Oh, and this is the altar. Oh, there's going to be a big dude here. More Birdman down below. I think I can sneak up behind one of them. She knows. That could have been really bad because I didn't have a melee ready to go. We have to wait for this guy to come back and then we can sneak up behind him. And there's another dude behind, uh, below us. The other guy's coming up. Uh oh. Gone with the wind. Yeah, getting the critical in on the head is pretty sweet. I'm trying to get back some ar arrows here. Our heads auto crit. Well, heads are headshots. <laughs> Ooh, 
is headshot damage separate to crit damage, I believe. Sneak up on. He says. <laughs> I'm using the heavy attack for the critical. Just to be sure. Oh, yeah, another note. A Wendigo. Oh, is that what we did? Um, that's what we bought. Never dared come near a Wendigo, but every obs even observations made from afar proved fruitful. I went aside hunted one of the scavengers. First, it released a swirl of tormented spirits that chased after the unfortunate prey and then promptly finished him off in melee. Okay. The skull in their chest could likely be a source of incredible power. One may assume that when it is destroyed, the Wendigo will become even more aggressive and unpredictable. Don't make me fight a Wendigo in here. I don't want to fight a Wendigo in here. About to die again. Huh, Maybe useful. Another dude there. Shoot with rocks. Can with a slingshot. Oh, and we should be getting money. I, I wasn't keeping track, but we should be getting money every time we kill something. Hey, buddy. This item you have here, give it to us. We feel the dark envelope of the curse round it. We may be able to figure out its history and maybe trace the source. Sure. 
I hope you never had an idea to drink from this chalice, or it's definitely going to drive mad anyone who tries doing that. I wonder, was that an option? It belonged to the Frenchman leading the sect. At first, it was used only as a symbol of mockery, used in cheap imitations of holy mass. But as you may have guessed, with time, it was not wine being served inside this chalice, but blood. Where should I go next? The tarnished fort is holding oh. dark root of the curse. Be wary. The darkness flows deep and wide in that place. Anything else? Search the fort. So, um, not yet. I probably should, though. I turned around in the 360 again and went the same way. My name, I just got. I know there was ammo in the guns. Three ninety one is not bad. Mm, yeah, I'll do out there. That's all good. Yes, we were going to use the shotgun a bit. We might even go double ranged for the moment. Because I want to use this. What are your impressions of this game so far? Um, I like it. I like the gameplay is solid. Um, I think the gunplay, once you kind of get more used to it, is good. Um, it's a matter of how different the other maps are going to be. I know the next map is like a swamp and stuff. Because I've seen, uh, I did watch a bit of Splattercats video before going on here today. And he was in a different area with uh, different enemies and so on. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking it. I like the um, the atmosphere and stuff. It's very much, uh, you know, if it's your type of game, you'll. Yeah, I think you'll be into it. It's kind of it's one of those things. It's like. Son of a... So that, that kind of bugs me. That bullet definitely... Definitely went through. Ooh, is it worth the price tag or wait on sale? Again, if you're into this kind of game... it could be worth it like again we've only seen this set of enemies 
I'm not sure how many enemies are in the game. I'm not sure how many maps are in the game. I'd have to look it up, to be honest. Centipede. Also, we're half dead. I will never say to a person, oh yeah, you should definitely go out and buy this or something like that. I will tell a person, someone not to buy something. But maybe see how far the game goes. I think the gameplay is solid. And I like that stealth is a big part of it. Oh, I don't have a melee weapon equipped. Die. The difficulty is there too, which is always good. Cheers, buddy. Um, I'll probably be alive for another hour or so anyway. Like I said, we're going to switch over to... Probably Quasimorph right now. Fun game. Or maybe Star Citizen. I don't know. Appreciate the lurk, dude. It's a lot of fun, to be honest. A lot of fun. Can I do this in the safe zone? Well, hold on a second. Alrighty. 